Item number SCP-5772 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures All Type 1 Information Generating Anomalies Note Anomalous Information Generation Entities with no limit on the nature of the information generated are to be investigated and suppressed. Research into the Navier-Stokes Equation Note the Navier-Stokes Equations describe the motion of viscous fluids in a generic fashion. In related partial differential equations is to be monitored and dissuaded. Regular assessments of the risk of non-anonymous mathematical derivation of SCP-5772 are to be conducted. Such derivation is currently considered unlikely in the short term. All explosions of at least 25 kilotons TNT equivalent 10 to the 14th power joule, which are not associated with no nuclear capable organizations, are to be investigated for signs of SCP-5772 involvement. Research is to be conducted into long-range detection of SCP-5772 instances. Description SCP-5772 is an efficiently implementable counterexample to the Nerfier-Strokes conjuncture. Note, the Nerfier-Strokes conjuncture claims that from any starting conditions, a fluid system that moves according to the Nerfier-Strokes equations will remain smooth. The smoothness condition roughly claims that the fluid's velocity, pressure, and energy density will remain below some upper bound based on the initial state of the system. When physically implemented, an SCP-5772 instance takes the form of an interacting system of vortices. As time progresses, the vortices will undergo feedback loops which concentrate the energy of the system into a smaller and smaller region near the center. As long as the system continues to evolve According to the nuclear stroke's equations for ideal viscous fluids, energy is concentrated arbitrarily densely, violating the nuclear stroke smoothness conjuncture. Due to the non-ideal nature of the fluid, the evolution of the system eventually ceases to follow the nuclear stroke's equations. When the characteristic vortex width reaches the atomic scale, at this point, the high concentration of energy leads to the breakdown of the fluid's constituent particles, the brief formation of the Planck-scale black hole, and the liberation of over 1% of the rest mass of the fluid. Mass-to-energy conversion ratio is significantly higher than the 0.024% conversion ratio of the B41 nuclear bomb. The maximum yield to weight ratio previously demonstrated. Tests indicate that the system of vortices can be easily implemented in a fluid system of up to 2500 meters cube. For instance, a large swimming pool. Allowing the straightforward production of explosives on a turbaton scale, 10 to the 21st power joule on par with the most recent eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Research into the feasibility of the creation of larger SCP-3772 instances is ongoing. Addendum SCP-3772 became known to the Foundation when it was described by SCP-10001. SCP-10001's primary anomalous property is its ability and compulsion to correctly any factual question posed to it. During testing on the 27th of April, 2020, SCP-10001 was asked, What's the most dangerous thing I could do without standing up? SCP-10001 then described a specific method for stirring a cup of tea.